Hey guys, it's Timmy here, and we got a lot to talk about today. So, let's first talk about what you're seeing in the background here is some gameplay of Commander Mode on Battlefield 4 because I was going to upload some Naval Strike gameplay today because I have premium and I was hoping that this Tuesday they would release Naval Strike for PC for premium members and I could get some gameplay and enjoy the new maps and the new easter eggs that seem very interesting. Alas, I cannot do that because I do not have a PS4 which is the only console right now that has premium that you could have premium and download Naval Strike right now because Naval Strike has been pushed back because of some problems. They even said here, Battlefield did say, we know that many Battlefield 4 premium members wanted to play Naval Strike today. However, we didn't want to release the new content until we believed it was quality content. Quality content. They didn't they say a couple months ago that they were going to stop releasing any DLC or they were going to like put a hold on that until like the game was finished and like fixed and everything because some people are still having problems with the game. I mean, kill cams are still bugged. There's still multiple problems. For some reason, I don't know, maybe if it's because I played Metro Last Light last week and because you know, it was on sale on Steam and I just wanted to do a playthrough of it and that game looked absolutely gorgeous. But Battlefield 4, uh, did it get like a performance drop where it looks kind of ugly? I don't know why. Just I noticed like I even, I'm running the game on like high settings and it still looks kind of ugly. So, I don't know, but it's interesting. So, yeah, uh, hopefully it'll come out soon. They say update early April, maybe. So, I don't know. Does that mean April 1st? Like, is it a joke or something that they'll release it that day? I don't know. Hopefully, I'll get it to you guys as soon as I can. I mean, I can go out to the store and buy a PS4, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste $450 on getting Naval Strike gameplay when I could wait a week and just get it on PC. Anyway, I'm complaining too much about Naval Strike not being here, which is annoying. Anyway, let's move on to the next thing. Big news this week, which I wanted to give my opinion on, is that Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook, had acquired, acquired, acquired uh, the Oculus Rift. The Oculus Rift, if you don't know, is a virtual reality headset. Now, what my thoughts on this are is it's interesting, it's good, and it's bad. It's really interesting because... Why is Facebook buying the Oculus Rift? I mean, do they? I understand they want to stay ahead of the game. I mean, I know Facebook's no Yahoo. Whenever Yahoo acquires something, it just goes completely down the drain. And I know Facebook actually acquired Instagram. And Instagram still works the same for me. It's always worked the same. And I like using Instagram, so you can follow me there. And uh, it's fine. So I don't know. I'm kind of worried, though, because why does Facebook need the Oculus Rift? And the Oculus Rift is supposed to be something like for gamers and everything there's actually a quote that uh one of the developers said i f don't have like the quote right now on me but it was something like it, the, this headset is made for hackers and gamers and coders and everything like this is made for a hardcore niche audience and a lot of people like gamers like us will really appreciate this and that's when they said back in e3 when they were showing off the first prototype for the oculus rift and now they're saying like oh the oculus rift is this new social platform to explore adventures and everything and they said this two days ago when it, this became public news now i don't know it's because people the thing is the oculus rift started out as a kickstarter and many people donated to it i think it made like two million dollars or something or it was a really big amount of money that it made with the kickstarter and now that it was bought out for two billion actually they got four hundred thousand dollars and yeah four hundred thousand dollars and they get they're getting like 1.6 billion in like facebook shares or something whatever four hundred thousand dollars in cash it's just it seems like a really big stab in the back i mean i get it like if you're doing a kickstarter it's more of a donation to the product to see how it goes and not like actually like a promise like some people want their money back i can get that too because you really it just feels wrong kind of because it feels like developers really just they did something they got like this product out it had so much hype i mean it was like a day or two before the release came out i saw like the preview shots for like the second generation oculus rift and that thing looked so cool and i'm just thinking like oculus rift like virtual reality i never thought like it'd be that big but i mean it was interesting especially sony's announcing their uh, uh, oculus rift v uh, virtual reality headset kind of thing so i don't know i mean what do you guys think i mean how do you feel about the Oculus Rift being bought out by Facebook? I mean, are we going to be able to crush candy 
in Candy Crush on in virtual reality and then go and see your baby pictures on virtual reality or is it just you know they're buying it so it has a more stable platform because maybe the company was about to like go bankrupt or something I mean who knows we don't we don't really know how business works behind closed doors so yeah guys uh, hope you enjoy the video Naval Strike isn't still out yet so it sucks but at least uh, the Oculus Rift wasn't bought out by us Facebook oh but oh god I don't know what I'm saying anymore I'll talk to you guys next time don't forget to like favorite subscribe you know all that stuff and yeah see you guys next time